Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Guys on Beer, coming to you from National Mechanics in Old City, Philadelphia. I am Johnny Bellata, and with me is the ever so excited and wonderfully sexy David Martirana. And uh, we say that for his wife's benefit because we do, we just do that. It's true, I'm sexy. It, it is. So today, today we got the uh, Ephes Pilsner, which is, a, which is a, a very big deal Pilsner out of Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, has like six, per, six like, they're the sixth largest distributed beer in Europe. They are huge in like Turkey and the Eastern Bloc. They are, um, at this point in time, they're in Kazakhstan, Russia, Serbia, Turkey. I mean, the, the, the company itself, and I believe it's called the Ephes Beverage Group, is just ginormous. Um, it wasn't when they started, but yeah, it, it's really picked up. This is a this is a standard pilsner. Now you're not seeing German it pilsner. wrong. You're not seeing it wrong. Um, this is there's no label on the bottle. There's yeah. a little bit on the neck, and that's about it. Um, now Ephes has in Turkey an 82% market share. Okay, so this is their Bud Miller whatever, and it's kind of cool that they're that they're actually uh, over here, so we can give them a try. They are also um, contract brewers of a lot of beers that we like in places like Russia. In Russia, they have a license to brew Warsteiner um, mm -hmm. and beers like that. And they are also, um, I believe, no, yes, they are the makers of Coke in Turkey. So they have the license to, to actually make and distribute Coke in Turkey. And the head of the Coca-Cola Corporation that was just named last year in 2008 was actually the head of the Ephes company uh, for a long time before that. Wow, I mean, it's a lot of history. I mean, obviously storied, uh, storied beer, brewery, and all that. Uh, and not so much, uh, that's about that, but the, the town that it's named after uh, is named after, uh, it's the Turkish name for a Greek city, which was part of the Ionian League, uh, called Ephes, and it was made popular because it was the location of the, the temple of they were FS, yeah. It was, it was the it was the location of Artemis's temple, which was one of the seven wonders of the world. So this beer is named after that. So this beer, <laughs> funny enough, we'll has relation to the seventh wonder of the world. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's going to be a, an eighth wonder. wonder. I don't know. It's going to be an eighth wonder. But uh, this is a five five percent alcohol by volume. It's a German style pilsner. Yeah, and has the color of it. Has a little bit of a sweeter nose. It does. I mean, like it, it's nose. a little bit maltier and a, minty. a little bit grainier and a little bit less. Um, like grassy and earthy. I think mm. you see pil pilsners with grass and earth flavors to them and smells to them are usually American, South American, North American, and you get maltier, grainier over from Europe and Germany. Yeah, I, I, and it's a little bit sweeter than those. And totally. I mean, it's really sweet, but uh, you know, as a color is nice. I mean, it's typical of uh, your your German pilsner or light German pilsner. But let's give it a little taste of what the flavors like. It's, it's a decent pilsner. It's like, it definitely tastes cut. It tastes like an adjunct. Um, it's very watery, but it's got this sort of sweet. Yeah, it has a it has a decently sweet malty profile in the beginning, and it doesn't so much dry, but the flavor dissipates at the end and leaves a little bit lingering of a, of a, of a hoppy after, but it's, it's very subtle. Yeah, I mean, the flavor, I don't know how to describe the flavor other than like eggs and sugar. I mean, that's what it, I, I know it's bizarre. I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, it's got that sort of like that tanginess that like, you know, you have the scrambled eggs or something like that. And maybe a little bit of a tang of like, um, like dill. Yeah. A little bit. Um, maybe that's because I put dill in my eggs. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Maybe that and, is it. Uh, and, and, that, and that little bit of like sugar sweetness on top of it is something yeah. else. Well, uh, you're rating. What do you give it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, 84 on this. I'm pretty. This is not horrible. This is, it isn't horrible, and it's surprising that you know we've done a couple adjunct and German pilsner type loggers, and we're liking them a lot. So I'm gonna go the same way. I'm gonna 84. There you go. 84 on it. Uh, so there, there you go. Wow. Uh, good. So for uh, for two guys on beer. Uh, we'd like to thank you for, for stopping by, uh, checking us out. Please check us out on uh, Twitter at twitter.com slash TGOB. You can also find us on Facebook, 
at facebook.com slash two guys on beer. That's T W O guys on beer. I, I hope one day I can stop saying that. Uh, so <laughs> thank you, National Mechanics, for hosting us. And for two guys on beer, I'm Johnny Bellotta. I'm Dave Martirana. Go enjoy, Go some, enjoy beer. some beer. I'm a papa, look at me. Papa, papa.